Welcome back everyone to Lore of the Shadow, where last time we finished repelling several attacks against the dwarves here in Moria. But what can we do to stop the orcs once and for all? We cannot stand alone. We must seek new allies. We have withstood the initial attacks of the orcs, but for how long will our good luck last? Not long enough, I fear. For the orcs are simply too numerous, and with the support of Dol Guldor, Maza can surely wage his war long enough to overturn our defenses. We must seek help of our own. Though the friendship of the dwarves and the elves of the Golden Wood has suffered strains over the long years, it has never, I hope, been truly abandoned. We need their assistance now more than ever, or we are lost. You must seek the aid of the Lady Galadriel. We dwarves know little of her, but it is said that she wields some great power. Some say that she is fell and perilous others that she is kind. In this dire time, I would risk an audience with her, though I am afraid. Speak with one of the wardens of the bounds of Lothlorien, and ask to speak with the Lady of the Wood. Who better than you? You're an elf friend, and a dwarf friend both. I understand that there may be great platforms along the trees called the, along the Nimmerdell, southeast of the Dimmerdale. You may find wardens of Lothlorien upon there. Yes. Anyway, it's been a while since I've spoken with Galadriel, right? Yeah, quite a while. I have made it to a flat, and it appears that Haldir here is in charge. Why should we aid the dwarves? It was folly for them to return to Moria. It appears that this is not going to be simple. Ah, this is a singular request. You are bold, stranger, to seek an audience with the Lady Galadriel. I, Haldir of Lorien, cannot permit you to enter this land. I must say it was a lot easier for me to get in when I was accompanied by Eladan and Elro here. Nobody questioned me then, but apparently security has gotten tighter. It is no small matter to enter Lothlorien. The orcs of Moria are awake. <laughs> I know that for sure. Uh, once they were content to burrow in the fruits of Fanuthal the Grey, Celebdil the White, and Caratras the Cruel. Now they pour from the doors of the Black Pit to threaten these woods. You say that you have fought the orcs and goblins of Moria? If you're truly their foe, then show me. How many of you slain in the dark tunnels of Moria? Will you I be satisfied that you are a friend as you say, and not a spy in league with those forces who wish us ill? I will judge you your tally, but I promise you nothing. Well let me see. I've killed enough orcs to have the Orc Slayer advance deed complete and enough goblins to have the Goblin Slayer deed complete. Uh, how close is that? He's thinking. Ah! It looks like he's finished thinking. The Lady Galadriel must be told of the evils the dwarves have disturbed within Moria. Well, it looks like he's getting convinced now. Yes, the record of your victories affirms your claim, Pine Lore. How does he know that I'm not making up these numbers? I have absolutely no idea. I mean, he certainly can't be looking at my deed log, right? I am sorry that I doubted you, but these are dangerous times. We have had many strange visitors in the boundaries of Lothlorien before you. Actually, I was probably one of those strange visitors when Eladan and Elra here were last coming here for a visit. But that's another matter. If you are trustworthy, we have need of your aid. I have sent word to Lady Galadriel. She will weigh your need and determine what role the elves will play in these new deeds in Moria. In the meantime, I would appreciate your help in patrolling the boundaries of the wood. Speak with my brothers, Rumil and 
or a feed and offer them your aid. They will speak little of your tongue, but hatred of the orcs will be understood by all enemies of the one enemy. You'll find them on the far shores of the Nimradel to the north. If you walk along the northern banks of the river, you will find my brothers. Alright, fine. Find Orphine and Rumil. Ah, I think I found one of the brothers. Here we are. This is Rumil. Rumil bows his head to you and points into the distance, away from the eaves of Lorien. He then shrugs and puts his hand to his bow. He may not speak your tongue, but his message is clear. For the moment, his post is quiet. The orc thread is gone. For the time being. Alright, well that's good. So now we need Orofin. Who will be in this direction? Across the water, of course. Oh! Time for some swimming. And one of the nice things about having fire magic is that somehow you can dry your clothes instantly upon getting out of the water. How about that? Ah, here we go. Hello there. Orifine is about to speak when something distracts him suddenly. <coughs> he hisses. I think, uh... I, I think I know what that word means. It's hard to miss what that word means. There you go. Oh, more! More! <coughs> My bonus. Ab see, Adbapo Sina Kaldir. I'll, I'll try to remember that when I relay the message. Knowing elves, the reason they probably don't bother learning our language is because if they did so, they'd probably use it three or four times before it evolved into a new language. Alright, how dare I have my report. You have my thanks. I thank you for helping my brothers, Fine Lore, and for safeguarding the eaves of Florian. The Lady Galadriel has sent word to me concerning your p petition and the fate of the dwarves. I relay you her message. All right. We do not allow outsiders into the Golden Wood. A short time before your arrival, an even stranger company came to Lorien, blindfolded. They were brought to Karen Amroth, for in no way would we endanger the safety of our land. Sad tidings they brought with them, and grief. The Lady Galadriel sent a small party of elves into Moria following the tidings that this company brought with them. She says that if you wish to save the dwarves, you will render your aid to upon those elves for their task in Moria is very important. They have a small camp in Gwathrendet, the shadowed refuge amongst the foundation of stones. The lady says that an evil greater by far than the orc's presence lies beneath the foundations of stone and must be faced if your dwarves are to be saved. So, I need to head over to the shadowed re refuge deep in Moria. This is definitely not a comfortable place. But what do I expect in Moria? Well, it looks like we do have an elf standing guard, so I presume that this is the place. And this must be Linglamel. Hello there. At the command of Lady Galadriel, we stand against the evil in the depths. I would welcome you to the Shadowed Refuge, Pinelore, but it is not a cheerful welcome. 
None should wish to come to this place. We are here at the behest of the Lady Galadriel. Some terror has made its home in these caverns, and it is loathsome and evil. Hmm. Marzog has sent orcs into the abyss to seek allies for his master. This is a grim and unwholesome place. The air is heavy and stagnant, and reeks of the unseen terrors that slither about in the darkness. But for the Lady Galadriel, we brave this black pit, and we will do as we are bid until we can be no other use here. She has sent you to us for a reason, Pelor Master. The Lady sees many things in her mirror. Perhaps she has seen what fate awaits us in this abyss. Help the elves of my company, and we will see all that may come to pass in this place. All right, let's see what we got here. Hmm. All right, that's a. Well, I think it would have been better than the last one I had, but it looks like. The one I currently have, actually, no, what type of damage does it? No, this is, the one I currently have is definitely better. Alright, we don't want that. We... Alright, we'll be getting the cloak, but this is not the time to do that. This is the time to speak with more elves, apparently. We may have need of your help, if you offer it willingly. Mazak has sent many of his kind down here into the Foundations of Stone for some purpose. They seem to be seeking something, but we have not yet determined what that may be. It's clear, at least, that they are having very little success. Nay, these orcs are being seized by some madness of mind and body that rages within them like a fire, erupting soon upon the surface of the sickening corruption of their flesh. This illness makes it even more dangerous, Pinemore, though they seem to lose all reason. They are the Glavsnaga now. Defeat them wherever you may find them throughout the Foundations of Stone, for their mindlessness makes them more cruel and merciless than before. Alright, so kill Glavsnaga wherever I find them. Alright. Hello there, anything you need? Will you not have the courtesy to hear my tale? The dwarves that seek to reclaim Moria, as foolish as they are, do not deserve the fate that Mazog's armies have chosen for them. But why is Mazog sent so many of his orcs here into the foundations of stone, when they might otherwise be used to attack in the defenses of the dwarves? There is some foul purpose in it, Pine Lore, and I believe that Gorthol, the sorcerer from Dol Guldor, will be at the root of it all. Mazog will not do this by himself. What possible reason could he have for splitting his forces? Seek out the members of the Pulpum that Mazog sent to the Foundations of Stones. Uh, they may now be Glavsnaga, corrupted by the evil of this place. But it would be that they still hold the orders that sent them here. Bring those to me if they exist. You would find the pulpum, especially among the tunnels near the great underground lake and on the few outcroppings that break its surface. All right, so find pulpum orders and kill Glavsnaga. All right. It looks like uh, we are back to work. It appears that some dwarves have also set up camp here. Quite a sizable one, too. I don't know how the elves feel about that. I think I'll be best not asking them at the moment. Ah, let's see what they all need me to do. Casa Doom belongs to Doom's folk. What? Speak up if you need something. I am Cleeter, and you also here to study the spiders? Uh, no? <laughs> Where are not? Well, look at them, disgusting things. 
they have been infected by something is what I think and I have no idea what I have been keeping some of them in cages below this cliff and go down to study them when I get a chance but I have a small problem one of them keeps managing to get free there are many more out there but the last thing that we need is for her to get to the others and bring the entire clutch down upon us head down to the cliff here and then look along the path to the north she normally does not go far I think she views this as some sort of a wicked game if you prod her enough she should go running back to the safety of her cage right yeah this is getting strange already now do you have something even stranger than that we have little time to speak great events have been set in motion you want me to kill Galab's Naga Orc? Okay, I'll gladly do that. When I get to paid by two people to do it, right? We will not retreat before anyone. Yes. Oh, we're a not your service. I am an historian and has the Doom's greatest treasures. I believe are the records that she managed to keep safe from us, awaiting our return protected from the ravages of time and orc alike. Some of these records mention strange things called rune rocks, and the context seems to indicate it does not mean merely a stone inscribed with written runes, as one could find anywhere in Moria. The text speaks of them in terms of weapons or defenses, and the dialect is a bit obscure here and there. Will you help us look for them? I have a feeling that we'll be glad of the knowledge. Okie dokie. What do you say? At long last, we will drive the maggot folk from our holes. I want you to defeat spiders. Fine. Fine. And what do you need me to do? We have little time to speak. Great events have been set in motion. Well, perhaps you can be evade. Have you seen those horrible, nameless creatures? They have especially infested an area on the lake's eastern side. I beseech you, Lord Master, go there and rid us of some of those revolting things. Have you realized that some of them don't even have heads? <laughs> Vile, to be sure. All right, fine. I'll make sure there are a few nameless things down here as possible. The ones I don't kill, I'll name. Now we need to find spiders. We need to find Glavsnaga. We need to find Pulpum, who seem to also be Glavsnaga. And we need to find spiders. Especially a spider uh, that seems to love escaping from cages. And that's quite a List of things to find. Oh, you're speaking of spiders. There you go. One down, many more to go. Ah, there's a orc right there. Yeah, it looks like a globs naga. There you go. A fungus collector. Yeah, that's right. He's collected quite a lot of fungus. It's all over him. Hmm. That spider looks a little bit different. Let's see what we got here. Ah! She's returning to her cage. Alright! Well, that mission is accomplished. Now, let's go in. Find more Globs Naga. Globs Naga Orcs. Globs Naga Goblins. Globs Naga Pulpum. Globs Naga Spiders. Globs Naga. Bats? Globs. No, 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 no. We don't want to have Globs Naga Lynxes. That, that would be. That would be a bad idea. Oops, a daisy. Ah. 
Let's not get spiders. That sounds like a really bad combination. All over the place, though. Everywhere. Hmm. Apparently, I still haven't finished Enmity of the Spiders 3 on this character. Well then, I think I'll need to kill many Galab's Naga Spiders if I'm ever going to get that deep done. Hmm. There's a strange odor in this place. Well, we have a Globs Naga here, but that's probably not. Uh, I think I found the source of the odor. What in the world is this? Actually, this must be what he was talking about when he said nameless thing. Yeah, that's nasty. I guess no one wanted to have credit for putting a name to one of these things. Well, there are fewer of them now. I did promise that there will be fewer nameless things in here when I've finished it. Uh, maybe I should stick to killing them. Hmm, here's some water. I suppose that's the lake that someone spoke of. That means that I guess we'll be finding... Oh, hold on. I was about to say finding some pulpum soon, but it looks like I found a rune rock. Hmm, what's this thing? The rock glows with strange runes. Well, yeah? Anything else? I suppose not. Hold on. That looks like a pulpum. Well then, uh, let's... Pulpum, gloves, naga, or not? There we go. Hmm, how about that? He does have orders. Well, 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 well. Maybe the idea is not so far-fetched after all. Ah, uh, I think we've got another pulpum. Sicker! Well, I think sick is the right word for these things, that's for sure. Ugh. And more of these things, well, I don't know what to call them because they're nameless and I don't feel like giving them a name. Maybe I'll just call them the ugh. I think that's a fitting name for them, right? Oh, we will take care. Actually, I'm almost think the gloves not gonna deserve that name. Ah, well, that's a nice quota on the gloves naga, and that's the last of the orders I need, at least. Let's see, what else do I need? I need two more of these things that... Two more of these... Ugh! But... Where would I best get those from? Should I go deeper? This place is populated with pulpum. I think I found the pulp of the pulpum. But don't worry, they'll be gone soon enough. Actually, maybe I should avoid this green-tinted water. Who knows what nasty stuff could be in it. Oh yeah. And I smell like new class quest coming. Let's see. The Lore Master, the path of the ancient master. Winniel has summoned you into her presence for further lore master training. And Weeniel is in the waterworks. The waterworks? How do I know that someone wants to talk to me that's currently in the waterworks? We need to consider that 
I am here in the Foundations of Stone, which are pretty much the dregs of Moria. I have dealt with spiders. We will reclaim Khazadum for dying Ironfoot. I'm sure you will. The Orcs of Moria have much to account for. I'm sure they do. Hmm. That's a decent armlet. All right. Well, there's good news all around. That's 112 legs. We won't be twist twitching through my nightmares anymore. Stay a moment. <laughs> you will need your aid against the Orcs of Moria. Yeah. The time has come to drive forth the Orcs from our kingdom. You greatly lightened my mind, Pine Lore. Now perhaps I can put the whole business out. Oh, wait. You saw a dwarf corpse there? And they were not? Oh, well. Yeah. Okay, what do I get for the battle test? Oh, I need to get uh, a ring. If we are to find Mithril in Khazadum, we will first have to deal with the orcs. And what do we got here? Oh, infestation. The time has come to drive forth the orcs from our kingdom. This situation is revolting. It's a good thing you've gotten rid of some of those orcs. Yep. Stand and speak with me. The fate of Casa Doom hangs in the balance. And finally, words of light. Azog's folk have not yet fully repaid for the crimes against us. You found a runestone? Truly? What a wonderful bit of luck. Stay a moment. We will need your aid against the Orcs of Moria. Not too keen on doing any of those follow-ups, though. So, let's go and speak with the elves. I've dealt with some of the Globs Naga. We may have need of your help, if you offer it willingly. We still don't know what causes the corruption that's taken hold of Mazog's orcs and made them fierce and mindless Glavsnaka. But it's enough for the moment to know that their numbers are fewer. Thank you. Oh, we got very, we very, we need to be careful to make sure that we don't turn into Glavsnaka. Could you imagine Glavsnaka hobbits? Ah. Hello there, I've managed to bring these papers. The shadow must fall. It's difficult to learn much from these orders, but this I can discern. Mazak seeking to enslave some of the nameless horrors beneath Moria. But why he wishes to do this remains unknown to me. For he doesn't need nameless allies to crush the dwarves. They're near enough to destruction as it is. No. He must have some other target. I fear it may be the Golden Wood, home of my Lord Caliborn and the Lady Galadriel. Maza doesn't have the foresight of such a plan. This must be from Grothul of Dol Guldur. Thank you, Pine Lore. We have learned much from these efforts that will be of use to us and to the dwarves as well. Alright. And now... All right, I helped them. The orcs do not know what awaits them in the abyss. Mazag, Mazag must not be aware of the great evil that lurks beneath Moria, or he wouldn't play such a dangerous game. His orcs are no match for what lies in the roots of these mountains. Or perhaps Gorthal, the sorcerer from Dogodor, has whispered honey lies into the ears of Mazag's spawn. He may believe his orcs have the upper hand, but they do not. All right, I think I said earlier that I wanted the cloak. We must keep our foes from Gwathrindos, or all is lost. And how will we keep these foes from Gwathrindos? That we'll find out in the next episode of Lore of the Shadows.